My name is Shankar Adavul. Astrology is a passion for me. I am not a professional. I have been researching astrology for over four decades and have done a lot of research with respect to the Bhrigu Nadi system. That is the system which I follow. That is the system which I have researched. That is the system which I am still working on as there is a missing link which I am still dwelling into. Most of my personal predictions which I do are based on the Bhrigu Nadi system. Other books I have written which are on the Parashri system and on various other facets and vectors of astrology. These books are available with Sagar publications. My love for astrology is purely as a matter of research and as a matter of something which I want to decode which could be used by people who come in the later stages. It is not a perfect science but it does tell the trends. My work in astrology I am sure you would find interesting. You could read a more, a lot more about me from the site, from my site, from Facebook or from my personal site. Also the trends which I am going to tell you on the sun signs are I repeat trends and they can be applied in a practical way when you approach for this year. Papa, as you know, I'm a Cancerian. How is it going to be this year for Cancer? Is it going to be good or like, how is it going to be? Brinda, the period for Cancer is June 22 to July 22. And you're 27 months, you're a Cancerian. Yeah. So as in all years, Cancerian, let me tell you the traits of Cancerians. Cancerians are very emotional people. They're very shy people. They're very introvert people. So these are three qualities which are not very positive qualities. They're negative qualities. So basically, Cancerians tend to do a lot for others, end up doing a lot for others. The worst positive quality of Cancerians is that if they catch hold of something, they won't leave it. So that's a positive quality mm -hmm. as well as a negative quality. In relationships, it becomes a negative quality. In business and service, it becomes a positive quality. That is, if they catch hold of somebody, they won't leave it. So if you catch hold of your studies and you decide that you have to talk, you'll do it. Yeah. So that is what Cancerians are all about. Now coming to 2012 Cancer. I divide my analysis into two parts. One is between January to May and second is June to December. January to May, I would call it a period of illusion where you would think that things are going very good. You would think that everything is getting enhanced. Your prestige is getting enhanced. You're going to make more money. Everything, you know, look very good. Your friends are, will be the best to you. Relationships will be good. But a word of caution there. Between January to May, things would look good but they would not turn out to be as good. Like starting of January, things would be like on the top of the world, but by May, you would start feeling the disillusionment. So for you, Brinda, as far as studies are concerned, if you have to get 100 marks and you put 2 hours of studies, to get that 100 marks, you have to put 10 hours of studies. So then that's, that's my word of caution for Cancerians, that if you have to achieve, then you have to work 5 folds. Between January to May, luck is not on your side. The illusion is on your side. From June to December, it's a good time. It's a good time for business. It is a good time for those in service. I'm sorry. It's not a good time for those in business, but it's a good time for those in service or students. That's a time when prestige will be enhanced. It's a time when you actually get what you want. You'll be recognized. So both in terms of service as well as students. You understand, Rinda? Yeah. You'll do better. In, in between June to December will be a period if you have put in your efforts and also taken my word of caution for January to May, you are going to do well. Same applies for those who are in service. But I would say that for those in business, it's a bad year. You should be very cautious in your investments. They have to be very cautious in borrowing money. I would suggest for those in business, Cancerians in business, do not invest more than required. Do not take risks if not appropriate. It's a very important year where businesses should be looked, you know, you should cross the T's and I's before getting into it. So between June to December, a good year for those in service and students, things start moving, but not a good year for those in business. Not a good year means it, you need to be cautious. So that is how I would sum up January to December as cancer. Till May, you don't get what you desire. After June, you get what you want in terms of prestige. 
It's an excellent year for relationships. It's an excellent year for friendship. It's an excellent year for marriage, love getting converted into marriages. So for those things, which are the personal fine things, it's a good year. So that's what Cancer is for 2012. And my advice for Cancerians would be that they should not get past into the present. I mean, the word I would say is past has passed. So never get past in this year. Don't let 2011 come in your 2012. Past is past. Delete it and you'll be happier. That's okay. 2012 for you, Vrinda. Okay. That's Anything you want to ask good. me? No. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.